Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina. If you're new here or one budgeting wifey, you're on YouTube and Instagram. And each week I come to you guys to share with you how my husband and I are living our best life on a budget. Today we're talking all about a grocery pantry challenge for the month of May. This should be interesting. Let's get started. Okay friends, so if you saw my May budget update, video, then you are probably familiar with the fact that my husband and I are going to be doing a grocery challenge during the month of May. What that means for our family is that we're just going to be using up as much food in our pantry, fridge, and freezer as possible. So what I did at the end of April, I went through our fridge and freezers. We have one in our garage and one obviously in our refrigerator inside in the kitchen. So I went through both of those to see what we actually had as far as our food availability is concerned. And each week I'm going to be sharing our meal plan that I've created from the, the items that we have in our fridge and freezer. Freezer. I'm also going to share with you the grocery haul that we've done on our limited grocery budget for this challenge and kind of our progress throughout the week. So today's video is just going to be a look through our freezers and our fridge to see what our inventory actually looks like and I'm going to share with you guys a few meal ideas that I came up with with what we had in our fridge and freezer. Okay friends, so real quick, this is our freezer that's outside. So I just popped it open to see what we have in here. It's pretty full. I'm trying right now to eat through um, the stuff that we have just like stocked up. Uh, either eat through it or just get rid of it if we're not going to be eating it because the summer is coming and we do a lot of barbecues at our house during the summer so we want to make sure we have room to keep all of that food. So obviously the Otter Pops that are down there on the bottom shelf are fine these two guys I need to do something with. So this is barbecue chicken and then shredded chicken. So I can do something with either one of those next week. We have some, let's see, these are pork chops. I have some chicken breast over here. Cheese. I don't need to buy mozzarella cheese for a while, I think. Um, there's a few burger patties left in here. Probably four or five. Four. Okay, so four burger patties. Ooh, get in there. These are super good. They're makers or members mark, so they're from Sam's Club. Angus beef, cheddar, and bacon. They're so yummy. So I'm gonna put these down here. Um, this is the teriyaki chicken that we love. This bag is just some beef that I really need to like sort out. There's what? A sirloin in here. There's this is a bottom round steak. There might be another one of those. These are short ribs. This is a ground beef. And what else? Like a T-bone steak or something? Yeah, a T-bone steak. So I might just kind of do like an assort, assorted beef um, for meal prep next week. That might be really easy or next week or the following week um, to get some of that eaten up. And it's not enough to make like multiple meals. So it would be best to just like have it assorted and take it like for lunch. Um, these are red potatoes that a friend of ours gave us. He has like the coolest job. He's kind of like a food um, vendor for fast food places so he gets like french fries and these amazing red skin potatoes um so like i said chicken here this is stew meat so i can obviously make something with that this is tri-tip literally don't need meat for forever um moving up here there's one pizza left in here i know that there's some veggies this is some butternut squash um, we have this whole bag of cauliflower rice. There's four in here. So we have that to use up. We also have, I think, two or three more in here. We have that to use up. We have a bunch of fruit back here. I can actually use this for Elias to start giving him some like mixed fruit uh, medleys. That kid loves his fruit. He's obsessed. Um, this is actually not open, so there's five packs of veggies in here. This is just some ice cream that probably needs to be gotten rid of. I think it's a little freezer burnt. Yeah, it's probably seen better days. 
Um, since we started keto, I just haven't been eating ice cream. <laughs> These are cookies. These are not going anywhere. This is my husband's that he got from one of our students at church. Um, this is some mashed cauliflower. It's cheddar and bacon. These are super good if you need a side um, for keto and you want something that's quick and easy. You don't have one have to make it. We have some more cheese here. We have some buns back there, hot dog buns, some hamburger buns. We have more buns here on the door. These are probably pretty gross that I could get rid of. Um, this is actually a little more ice cream from a place that we love. It's called Devil May Care. Um, it is the best little ice cream shop. They make their own flavors, so good. This is um, cranberry jalapeno dip that I got actually back in like, I wanna say like the winter, yeah. The best by date is December, is Christmas, December 25th. So we just stuck it right in here because I knew I wouldn't be able to eat all of that. Um, this is just some whipped cream, of course. Of course, I mean, obviously you guys can read. <laughs> we have one uh, rope, I guess, of sausage left. We have some apple juice from our favorite apple orchard. We've got two loaves of bread here, again, because we're not eating bread, so that's kind of just is what it is right now. Um, on the door, what is this? This is, oh, turkey, bacon, egg, and cheese McMuffins. I need to ask my hubby if he wants those still. These are some guacamole cups. I like these because you can freeze them and they stay really well. Um, and I just pull them out as I want them. My hubby does not eat guac, so this is something we've had for a while. But like I said, I just eat one at a time. Just pull it out and thaw it out as I need it. Sorry, I was moving it around. Uh, we have some popsicles here. This tilapia needs to get eaten up. There's, I wanna say, five in here. And I found a recipe, or I made a recipe, I made a recipe, I don't know, one random breakfast sandwich. Um, some more cheese. So the tilapia, I have an amazing recipe for Parmesan crusted tilapia that is keto friendly, so I'll share that recipe below also. I made it, um, I think I've made it twice now, and it's so good with like just cauliflower mash and like some veggies, super yummy, it doesn't take very long either. The rest of the stuff on the door, we have more breakfast sandwiches down here, more buns, and then waffles and breakfast sandwiches. So I wanna say my hubby said these were not super great anymore. Um, these are more for him. He loves like breakfast sandwiches that are biscuits. And of course, we're not eating these Eggos and there's tons of ice in here. So we'll probably just get rid of these, which makes me really sad, but it is what it is again. So that's the freezer inventory. Uh, for our outside freezer and then I will share with you guys what we have inside also But that gives me a lot of great ideas for meals for the next couple of weeks and we have So much meat that needs to get eaten up. So we'll work on that too Hey guys, so now for a look inside of our freezer that's inside of the house um, Starting in the bottom here. We have a couple of biscuits left in here um, Some lemon juice the pesto spirals that I got in last week's grocery haul. Um, this is a little lunch that uh, we have had in here for a little bit. Um, chicken, Mexican style street corn. So it's basically a burrito bowl. It's just kind of like in case of, you know, emergency kind of lunch situation. There's, these are um, some meatballs that I made a little bit ago. This is broccoli. Um, more of the meatballs. So this is like a family size serving. Those are like lunch sizes. These are two breakfast burritos. We've got some oven roasted diced chicken breasts. We have a few sausages. Um, some chicken strips, which would be great on salad. Same with the little, with these guys, the diced. Um, these are pot stickers that have been in here for a while. We also have some tortillas in here. These are tamales, which I'm probably not going to get eaten up right now. Um, then we have sausage, which I did just purchase. It's really good for breakfast. We have some random otter bops. Um, this is all fruits and veggies, so we're not really going to worry about this too much. These are just frozen bananas, um, some more lemon juice, a bunch of berries. This is a little bit of like, oh, there's like nothing left in here. But it's like a corn pepper mixture that I like to add to burrito bowls. 
Um, and then these are just some frozen bell peppers. We've got some blueberries that Elias loves. Um, and that's kind of it. There's like a random drumstick down there too. And then this top section, this mess here is all Elias's food. So this is his um, vegetable and fruit purees that I make. And I freeze them in like little um, small servings. Um, we have some ice cream bars. We've got some Halo Top. This is Elias's teething ring. Um, these I'm actually going to toss. Those are little fat bombs, but I wasn't a, too big of a fan. Also, didn't really like, care for these cheesecakes. So I'm going to toss those. Um, same with this. These are egg bites that I made. They're the Starbucks um, sous vide egg bite copycat thing. Uh, we've got some bagels that my mom gave us. She got from Costco. We have some bread, more sausage, more cheesecakes that are not good. Um, this is vegetable like leftovers for stock. Um, these are some waffles that we made pre-keto. We have some non bread and a bunch of buns in here. These actually probably need to go because the bag was open. Okay. Oh, and this is more of Elias' baby food. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. So the last things in here we have this. Chana Masala. I don't know how you say that, guys, but really good from Trader Joe's. And these little guys, veggie samosas from Trader Joe's. These soft pretzels back here that my hubby likes and more ice cream bars. So I'm going to put these in here. That was a lot. Oops. Okay. Gosh. Elias's food is all over the place. There's, it's like it's so hard to contain in that little space. That's everything in the inside freezer. And as far as inside of the refrigerator goes, we have a couple of like takeout containers that were from a family party from last weekend, so we kinda need to get rid of those. Um, I just made this salsa chicken two days ago. This is gonna be for my lunch. Um, that spaghetti sauce that we got from my aunt. These are leftover taco shells. We do, oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Yikes. I always do that. I almost, always, almost do that. drop these puddings every time. Um, so we've got a little bit of cream cheese, um, some almond butter. Oh, this is like random stuff from breakfast last weekend. Oh, this is my stuff for lunch. What is this? Oh, these are burger patties. We need to get rid of those. We have some salsa. I don't really know what we want to do about that. Um, this hummus is good. There's barbecue sauce back there. Okay, so. Um, I did just make these cookies today. These are cookies. I know they're in the refrigerator. It's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Um, I have some cottage cheese up here. I only use cottage cheese in recipes. I don't actually, like, eat it. The texture is really weird to me. Um, some peanut butter, so we're okay on that. We're good on almond milk. I have my little drinks back here. Oh, I forgot about my Thousand Island drink. We can use some salad mix. We have some veggies. These are peppers. These are a couple of zucchinis. We have some celery in here and some little carrot sticks. I might get some more carrot sticks to make Elias some carrots for his... Um, meals. This is broccoli slaw, and we have a ton of apples, which I need to get made into food for Elias also. And then as far as, like, meat and cheese, which is all down here, we're totally good on. I did just buy two things of bacon last week, which I didn't end up prepping like I was going to. Um, we have tons of cheese, which you saw. This is just a little bit of salami. Um, sliced cheese. This actually probably needs to go. I've seen better days. So yeah, that is the state of the refrigerator. All right, so the only thing we really do need is going to be eggs. Um, there was something else too. Maybe some more almond flour 
and some stevia, possibly. Um, but that's really about it. Uh, so I think the biggest part of our grocery haul is going to be household items because we do need some of those things. Okay, so that's a look at our fridge and freezer. So let's take a look at our grocery haul, what we picked up. This grocery haul was actually a little bit larger and not considered a part of the challenge specifically. I will break down the amount that we spent on food in this grocery haul, but really the point of this grocery haul was for us to get a bunch of personal items that we needed and we basically run completely out of and we did stock up on some food items as well we also had to get some things for Elias and just some like I said household items so this grocery haul was a large one but it was all over the place and it really spanned a lot of our needs so let's take a look at the grocery haul Okay, friends, I'm going to have the breakdown of the budget um, for like how much we spent for each category. So starting with our food here, we have two um, Kerrygold butters that I picked up. This half and half is um, vanilla. It's half coconut milk, half almond milk. I really like it. Um, this is some cream cheese, Philadelphia. We got some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. Also picked up raspberries and strawberries. Um, I did pick up some more stevia because I like to use this uh, in my coffee but also with baking as well as some almond flour. I found a couple of recipes lately that I'm really liking so I'm going to try and make a couple of things. We did pick up some dill pickle spears, some dill pickle relish which I haven't had before. I've only always had the sweet relish. I accidentally got potatoes. I don't know how we got these but we'll get them eaten up. <laughs> so there's that. Also picked up some of these high fiber wraps. I thought these would be great for sandwiches. Um, we did get two things of asparagus here, asparagus spears. Also picked up some lettuce for um, the wraps again. I picked up some lemon extract. That's for one of the recipes that we're gonna be making. And a big bag of regular pork rinds. Then we also picked up this box of a variety pack of pork rind. It's like lunch size, so. This is what like the bag looks like. So it's like as if you were throwing chips into a lunch. So I thought this was really nice. I've never seen a little variety pack like that before, but that'll be great for my hubby for lunches. Then we picked up some eggs, this is 18 count. I also got some wax paper and some press and seal, which I've never used press and seal before, but I've heard it's really awesome. So moving along to all of Elias's stuff, the only thing not pictured from his haul is some swim diapers. I wanted to get a pack of those since we're getting into the warmer weather and we want to get him used to swimming or being in the pool at least. So he got some yogurt melt. He got peach, cherry vanilla, and mixed berry. I also picked up a bunch of food pouches for him. I make his baby food, but I like to have these when we're out and about. Um, he also is gonna try these teether wheels. I got an apple and a banana. And then some, just some easy like grab and go foods. Again, just in case things are like super busy or we just need something really quick. Um, or we wanna leave something like with my parents or whoever's watching him for a little bit. We also picked up some nighttime baby bath for him. He's out of this and I like to put it in his bath at night to just kind of help him relax in the evenings. This is some shampoo and conditioner. So now we're moving into all of the personal care items. So shampoo and conditioner, it looks like it leaked a little bit actually. Yikes, I hope it's okay. I'll check on that. Um, so that's that guy. I also got some body wash. This is tea tree mint. I've never tried it before, but it sounded really nice. Also needed to get some more face primer for my makeup. This is actually more body wash because I'm totally out of body wash. <clears throat> Excuse me, so this is the Daily Silk. Also got this one. It's like a little exfoliating. Uh, I really like this. I've, I've used it for a few years. It's really nice. And then I did get some cocoa butter. One of these needs to go to work with me because I'm totally out of lotion at work and I'm almost out here at home too. So I got a small one probably for work and then the larger one will be for home. Uh, for my hubby, I also got him two lotions. This one will be for his travel bag and a regular one to use every day. And then I also got him some deodorant. This may not be the right kind, dang it. Um, and some body wash. This is a two pack. That was a pretty good deal. So that's everything we picked up today with our grocery pickup order. I love Walmart. I love being able to just like order all this stuff and drive up and it's right and you just get to go home.
So that's what I have to share with you guys today for our grocery haul. All right, guys, so now that you've seen the grocery haul from this week, let me share with you some of the meal ideas that I came up with just from looking through our freezers and fridge and adding some of the items from the grocery haul. Now, one thing that happened with our grocery haul this week is that I accidentally ordered potatoes. And I guess that could be kind of a con to doing grocery pickup. I had put potatoes in my grocery haul um, a few weeks ago when I was kind of like, teetering back and forth between being on keto or not, and I really wanted a baked potato. So those somehow stayed in my cart. I guess I didn't review my entire basket when I checked out. So whatever, it's fine. We just have to use them up. So the potatoes are going to be featured in some of these meals that I'm going to share with you, just so we can get those eaten up and they don't go to waste, because that would be counterproductive of a grocery challenge. So the first meal that I came up with is tri-tips. Tri-tips. <laughs> So the first meal I came up with is tri-tip veggies and baked potatoes. So that will be one dinner that we have. Um, the other meal that I came up with is Parmesan crusted tilapia. We can do that with cauliflower mash and again just like um, roasted veggies. We'll also have cauliflower fried rice which is a super easy meal to make during the week. And I'll put pot stickers with that because that's just really good. Totally satisfies my like Chinese food craving. The next meal we have is teriyaki chicken, cauliflower rice, and broccoli or any steamed vegetable that we feel like. And the last meal is barbecue chicken baked potatoes. So we already have the barbecue chicken in the freezer and the baked potatoes I'll be making from the potatoes that I purchased. Um, so the meats and pretty much the majority of these meals actually came from what was already in our freezers. Um, the sides that we're going to add are really just the potatoes for this first round of meals. So that was really the only thing we had to buy um, and again that was kind of an accident so if we didn't have that then we wouldn't have been really missing anything we just would have made these same meals just without the potatoes so that is going to be our grocery challenge and our grocery meals for the first week now we're going to be doing this challenge kind of as long as we need to um, in order to really clear out as much food as we can Again, going into the summer season for us is a busy time and it's a time where we do a ton of grilling. So I don't like to have a lot of food in our freezer as we go into this busy time um, because it's easy for us to just stock up on like burgers and fries, or burgers and fries, burgers and hot dogs um, to have when we have people over. So that's everything for the first week of our grocery challenge. I would love to know if you've done a grocery challenge yourself, what you've gotten out of it, how it's been for your family, if it really changed your habits moving forward, or if it was something that you just like to do a couple times a year. Um, let me know in a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Okay. Bye guys. Yeah, it's expensive. Not frugal. What? Mmm. Not not it. What's that? <laughs> Mama doesn't care. <laughs> hey. Hey. You have something to say? Say hi, guys. Hi. You talk so much and then you get on camera and you're very shy. <laughs> Good. Good chat. Hey friends, so just a quick friendly reminder to subscribe if you are new here because not only does it help my channel so much, but it helps to make sure that you don't miss a single video that I post. I'm posting a ton of varied content lately, a lot of working mom stuff, but also tons of money stuff as well because that is truly my heart and my passion behind my channel. So don't forget to subscribe if you're new and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.